Hello, all. Grand Rising. Welcome, welcome back to Illuminate the Oracle. All right, this is going to be a collective um, reading for all signs. It's not going to be a love reading. It's going to be a, a personal development reading, right? Oracle reading for all signs for my illuminators. Okay, we want to dig into what y'all need to know, what y'all need to hear today. All right. Um, all right. I'm already hearing. Uh, eat your cake, <laughs> you know, let them try you. Um, here's Spirit saying, uh, stay in your lane. You're going to be put in your path. Stay in your lane. If they try you, just let them. Because you're not, this isn't just, you're not just by yourself anymore. You never were by yourself. It may have appeared like you were by yourself, right? But your spiritual team was always there. We're going to tap into that. Um, let's open this prayer first, all right? <sighs> Father God, Lord Divine, Archangel Michael, please cover me and my collective as we receive these messages today. We only seek messages of your highest vibration, messages you need for us to receive. Any ill will you will any just send our way kindly block or return the energy back to his rightful owner, bind them up in their own energy so they never harm anyone again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Ashe, ashe, ashe. All right. Um, what is this? Stay in your lane. What is this? I feel like for a lot of y'all, y'all create lanes. I get that we're in dragon year. So it could be like this dragon energy where some of y'all have this energy in you to... I'm hearing like portal breaker, portal opener, op portal opener. You open portals. Akashic records. Y'all have the Akashic records? This is clearing old storage, releasing past lives, freedom. So y'all are at this level of y'all clear the data up. <laughs> y'all have access to your records. You're clearing old stories about yourself. All right. The temple of truth. This is Thot Chakra. Authenticity and self-expression. Because there's something you 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 have it. You spirit is giving you access to your records because there's something that you need to say. There's something that's being that you need to communicate or something that's being communicated. Um rather that's it's something that is connected to your authenticity so it's an honest truth a gospel truth right i'm here uh was that hercules uh, and it's 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 expressive like it's your type of self-expression um for some of y'all this could come in the form of a talent an ancient skill or talent that you're learning about or that has as that is surfacing for yourself a sword of light you know that sword also is further confirmation that something is being communicated whether these be thoughts words and any kind of communication we have also divine protection cords cut and breakthrough energy so this is a this is um Whatever you're being called to do at this time, it is a protective action. You're being protected through this process because um, I feel like you're doing this for your, genera your, gen your generation. I feel like you're doing this for your bloodline. Gen breaking generational curses, I'm already hearing that here. Yeah, because y'all activated your third eye activation. And you're very much clear seeing. I'm also hearing like y'all may have assisted others in opening their third eye chakras, uh, their brow chakras, helping other people to be more clear seeing. Yeah, helping people to be more present because you are the present. 
Kaz card says light body activation, accessing the divine within. So you're connected to source. Okay. So source is giving you materials or, um, something to communicate, whether that's how that comes out, it's going to be differing to any individual, right? It could come out through music, it could come out through, uh, literature, it could come out through anything that someone puts together, um, with their hands or their thoughts or their words or, you know, what have you, it's going to be different for every individual. But I feel like it's something that you're being guided to do. It's something that this is something that you would even receive like aha moments about. You would get dreams about. You would have visions about. Um, whatever it is that you feel like you need to do, I feel like Spirit has given you or has given you the blueprint, the Holy Grail. Okay, this card says inner discovery. So it's not something that you're gonna be discovering outside of yourself. Just like as I said in this reading. You could experience it in a daydream or a night or you know a night dream <laughs> either way it's something that there are blueprints that would come from inside of yourself all right inner discovery finding sacredness you are what you seek so a lot of y'all have pulled your attention back from things that no longer resonate that no longer feel like it is in any way along your your road right um, it's like I feel like some of y'all just kind of want to be ready for the right situation or ready for because y'all know the wheel yeah the journey the wheel in the sky keeps on turning so it's like for a lot of y'all y'all are just waiting for your shot and something's rolling through this card says important information this says wounds are healed and recharging okay star being healing code all right, so for a lot of y'all, with this pullback energy, you've allowed yourself to recharge, allowed yourself to really be purified outside of the aches and fears of others. It's like you have a clear space to roam if you want to roam around the world. The divine matrix. I'm hearing that. Rome, if you want to interconnectedness because things are interconnected you're spotting the synchronicities yeah through your clarity okay this is divine healing this is also like high vibrational energy so it's in your eyes it's in your walk it's in your touch it's in your everything. You're very addictive right now, but it's like if people ain't able to maintain that vibration of, with you, then they're likely not going to be able to like be around you for that long like that. And vice versa, because it's just, you know, it's not personal, it's vibrational. And I feel like whatever that you've been gifted with, whatever that you've been uh, implanted with, my darlings, it's something with the, um, I don't hear like bu bu skulls, bones, whatever it is. I feel like there's some sort of implanting here. Um, that feels divine. I feel like a lot of y'all have activated your own like heart healing as well. Healed yourself from disappointments. Healed yourself from you know, like no longer believing that anything that has occurred to you is anything that has occurred to you. It's something that you now view as happening for you in your favor. It's almost like there's no way this wicked brew, uh, 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 the pot, say you a stew, right? And there's no way this stew could have gotten, or there's no way if we had skipped an ingredient that the stew could have come out this spectacular. It's like if anything was missing along the way, then that stew would have been missing something essential. So that's something about what, how you need to perceive the things you had to go through in this lifetime up until this point. If anything was missing from your stew, you would be a bit less than what you are today. So you needed all of that. And therein lies the freedom 
because you start to release all those things you thought you were holding on to for, I don't know, protection. Show my collective where they're moving in toward. What What is their new reality looking like? What is their life looking like? You know, what is this new reality looking like for my collective moving forward? Um, Holy Spirit, with all this work, considering all this work we've done, what what is the next era? Era looking like for my collective. Please and thank you. Let's see. Alchemy. Okay. Transforming the situation. So this is something that you've mastered. You've mastered your alchemy. You've mastered your magic. And now you have a confidence. You'll have, you continue to have this confidence that um, you can transform a situation regardless of how it may seem because you're used to spinning a vibe, spinning a vibe, fast changes. You're also used to fast changes. You're used to ha having to buckle your seatbelt and just like, you know, um, what is that? Uh, oh, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. All about Eve, Betty Davis, um, and a young Marilyn Monroe. Um, buckle your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Yeah, I feel like you've mastered quick changes. Okay, so nobody can throw you about. You're used to taking bold steps. All right, and I feel like you've mastered how you express yourself. There's, not, there's nothing that anyone could ever take away from you or try to implement or try to control because um, you've mastered how you express yourself. I also feel like this is something that you're going to be doing more of in the future. There's like a certain type of expression that y'all are going to be doing. Rather that's um, public speaking, speeches it's as we already talked about something with the voice some type of expression it could be a performance singing she looks like she's singing in this picture um so yeah more and more in the future that's what my collective can expect is fast changes you can expect yourself to be um using your magic you'd be expecting to use your magic even more so and that you'll be expressing yourself even more so. And this is all going to be equaling out to being a whole new beginning for you. All right? Hit the reset button. This is the reset button. This is the great reset for my collective. All right. What else do you need to know about this reset? All right. Love life. Okay. Love and be loved, all right? Free from problems and money problems. Enjoy the passion of love. So for some of y'all, and this is not a love reading, okay? But for some of y'all, this includes love, okay? Um, we also, loyalty, okay? So regardless, whether or not you're interested in love, this could be a, about business, but there's still a sense of loyalty here in what you're walking into. There's a, a extreme importance about loyalty um, and sweet success, making it sweet, get what you want, okay? It's not difficult to get everything you want and enjoy it. That's what the next era is looking like for you. Let's pull some advice cards from my collective, all right? What advice do you have for my collective as it pertains to this new business era in their world? All right. It's going to come out of nowhere, this opportunity, the full card, that Uranus energy. So out of nowhere, you're going to be asked to take a leap. Okay. Follow your instinct and get out of your mind, okay? And this will not be a period of time to be stuck inside your mind because whenever full energy comes through, spirit is just asking for us to just go for it, okay? 
but you know, not just go for anything at all times, but it's 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 all about your instincts. You know, it's all about what how do you feel it to be true? Do you feel like this is time? Do you feel like this is the opportunity of a lifetime? Okay. Um, I feel like whatever it is that's coming through that's brand new to you, it's gonna feel right. It's gonna feel like home. It's something that you've been waiting for. It could be even something that was at a distance or could be at a distance from you. But there's planning happening here. And I feel like whatever that's that is being made, I feel like there is something, there is a there's a something's being made up for someone. An earth angel, perhaps, a seat at the table, perhaps. Something is being tempered in because of someone's influence. Okay, um, it's an opportunity. You can e you can even see Jupiter in this energy because it is connected to Sagittarius. Um, so there is an expansion that's happening here due to someone's um, good influence, due to someone's ability to cooperate with others as well. There's something about this opportunity that you're being placed into is like a perfect fit. Paraphon. It could be some sort of counseling. You could be counseling or advising or consulting. Um, it's definitely in the in the realm of like um, spiritual wisdom and traditions. Um, and it feels very high level, high up. And the world, the Hierophant in the world. For a lot of y'all, you're meant to be, you're meant to be like seen on a, on a stage, a world stage. There could be something about you that's quite unique. Um, but we already seen, um, We already seen the cards at a spiritual level, like how spirit is kind of preparing you for this, uh, for this expression with the throat, with the voice and expression. And I'm seeing with this connection to Hierophant in the world is like something is going to be seen on a platform, seen by the world, a world stage I'm hearing um, due to some sort of partnership. Um Like someone feels like you have the power. Queen of Cups. There's something about the authenticity of your love, your care, your intuition, your kindness. Um, and who you are as a person, I feel like. Your intuition. Okay. I feel like this is something that you're going to want to hold on to or someone's hold... Someone, Someone is holding on to you as a resource. Um, someone feels like you have the answers to something. Is there something about your energy that's really um, someone really loves your curiosity? Not just your intuition, your your intuitive abilities, but also your your um, your your excitement about things. Um, yeah, the moon energy. There is uh, something being made up for you, but I feel like it's something you're gonna like. Something that's gonna make you very excited. You could even feel in your energy with that high priestess card that. There is a certain level of excitement around you or something that's coming in toward you that you can't quite see yet in the moon energy. Okay. How will my collective feel when this opportunity presents itself? Show my collective how they will feel, Holy Spirit, once this grand opportunity presents itself. Please and thank you. Okay, Herophon. Does that opportunity... It's like a contract. I'm hearing a contract. Um, whew. 
Queen of Pentacles. Page of Swords. And the Fool. It's like... I don't know if this is like a scout. It feels like you're being scouted. <laughs> it feels like someone's being scouted here. Um, I feel like there's something here about your um, your generosity, how down to earth you are. It's something about your presentation. I'm not sure if someone wants to be wants you to be like a um, like a. a like a co-owner or a representative, um, spokesperson. It's gonna be different for everybody, but it's due to your down-to-earth nature. Someone feels like you're very practical, very, very protective, um, confident. It's like they feel like you would be confident enough to take a leap into something new. Someone feels like you would be the right counterpart or the right person for this. Yeah, something's coming in quick. Or maybe this is a situation where you will feel like the perfect fit. It's like people feel like you're the perfect fit already, but I feel like to you, it could be quite a shock. But you're going to realize how much of a perfect fit you are for something that can seem shocking at first or even scary. Or I just feel like a facade, something that could have seemed like impossible. Something that could have seemed impossible. Yeah, something you're gonna make a choice about is coming through. But know that you're made for it, okay? Strength card, know that you were created just for this opportunity. Okay. Let's go on ahead and pull some Believe in Your Own Magic cards. And that's where we'll wrap it up. Let's get some water, darling. All right. All right. So what does my collector need to know as we wrap this, up this reading? Okay. Ooh, have a spectacular week, y'all. Okay? It's all how you make it. It's all how you illustrate it. Okay? So, make it sweet. All right. What do we got? Uh, castle? It's time for healing, not war. 30. It's time for healing, not war. Okay? But Spirit is saying, um, this is time for us to clear up the battles. This is time for us to clear up what we've gone through for certain. But if anybody wants to try you, we got it from there as well. Because there is no long, I don't know. It's like whatever was long or drawn out, it feels like, it feels like something is complete. Like the 10. We have um, garden. Something lovely will grow from this, yeah. And now we're at that stage of, you know, growth. You know, this opportunity that's coming through, something magnificent is going to grow from this, okay? So don't be scared. 15 and uh, 30 could be significant. We have feast. 29 could be significant. So we're going from the 29 to the 30, okay? Slow down and celebrate yourself. Slow down and celebrate yourself. Then we got sundress. Do it for you. 41 can be significant, all right? Do it for you. What other advice do you have for my collective as, as pertains to the new opportunities showing up in their world? Acceptance, okay? Because these are things that you dreamed about, my darlings. And or you're receiving these messages through dreams. Okay? These are miracles, okay? If they said it's going to take a miracle, know that you got them. 
no matter how much of a mystery it may seem to you right now. All right. Ask for help. Stay uh, tuned in with your star players and your spiritual team throughout this process. If ever you feel confused or feel like your energy is just, you just need an extra reassurance, tap in. Meditate, pray, tap in. All right? And that's it. <laughs> Thank you for my like and subscribe. Until next time, y'all take care of yourself, okay? And give that love out accordingly, okay? Um, but you know you can't give it out until you give it to yourself first, right? So there we are, and there we go, okay? Don't be afraid to go slow, too, by the way, all right? Yes. <laughs>